Get Warrior Tough, Mental Training 101 with Andrew Whitman and Dutch Coleman. And now back to Andrew and Dutch. All right, we're back at it. Get Warrior Tough, the most monumental hour in media anywhere. We're your leadership and mental toughness coaches, Andrew Whitman and the Dutch Coleman. If you want to join the conversation, and you should, because we want to hear what you have to think about this, uh, use the hashtag Get Warrior Tough on the Twitter or hashtag GWT. And you can find Dutch at the Dutch Coleman. I'm at Warrior Tough PhD. Go to the website getwarriortough.com. We're talking about are executives overpaid, and we're talking about this EpiPen disaster uh, with Mylan, and that Mylan is like the 13th in, in their group. They're not even in the top 10. They're like number 13, um, and they're number two on the pay scale. Their executives are making more money than Johnson & Johnson executives, than Pfizer executives, than Bristol-Myers Squibb executives, and Eli Lilly and company executives. That just blows my mind, Dutch, that they're making more money than those guys. i tell you what, man. And, and that is, uh, that's truly, truly unbelievable. Uh, if you think about the, the heavy hitters you name, the uh, type of cachet they have in this industry, the history they have, it, it is really tough to imagine that you were able to list all those companies and, and for this company, uh, Mylan, to be ahead of them in terms of pay. It, it, it blew my mind the first time uh, we had a discussion about this. So any, anyone who's familiar with the names that we list them, again, these are you know, companies who have a market share, they have cachet uh, from a dollar standpoint, from a reputation, from how long they've been in the game. And I mean, like the, Johnson & Johnson, ugh. have you ever used baby powder? I mean, come on, man. I mean, right? No more tear shampoo. The, the market cap for Johnson & Johnson is $327 billion, and my <laughs> land is 22 Unbelievable. I, I, like, I'm like, but they're getting paid way more. It's just, it's just, it just cracks me up. Yeah, so, but, but th th this is where you're going to get them, though. This is where I want everyone yeah. to get closer to the radio, as we used to say. <laughs> this is going to be some good stuff. This is why people have a problem with what they're doing. Right. And again, so here, part one, they raised their one branded product, the only horse, the th only thoroughbred they have in the stable. They raised the price on that 550%. Mm. Number two, then they paid themselves this exorbitant $300 million and they're like more than all these other companies. And they're in the top three of their executives of this little company. I should be an executive at this company, man. <laughs> I mean, like getting paid in the top twenty in the industry. Mm. They're make so they're making this fat cash. Now, I said when my my people asked me, you know, my press people, hey, what's your take on this? I read the article in the Wall Street Journal. Hey, you know what is pay is not the issue here. Cause there's lots of people that make lots of money. There's lots of executives that make lots of money, and people ain't we ain't talking about them. In fact, we're not there is a company, and we'll talk about that again. They're making Almost twice, a biofarm company, their executives are making almost twice as much, and nobody even bats an eye at that company. Not one moment, not one bit, and we're going to discuss that as well. Right. This, is, this is deeper than that. It's way deeper than the money. So everybody, and this cracks me up, Dutch. You remember like when Katrina happened and gas went to like five bucks a gallon? Yes. And then we saw the president or CEO of Exxon like got a $400 million like paycheck. Do you remember that? Yeah, and everybody's all mad at that guy. Oh man, he got four hundred million. Yeah, yeah, why are you mad, man? Why are you mad? Because you paid more at the pump, but they have <laughs> no idea what he did to get the gas to the pump. Right, right. So no, and and then once you you know gas came back down, they stopped talking about his four hundred million dollars. See, it's just because mm -hmm. it was an emotional reaction, and that's what's going on here with like with the EpiPen. But this is why, and I'll tell you what, it has nothing to do with the money. The reason is because I went to that right before the break. I dialed up their website, and I wanted mm -hmm. to see who they are, who do they say they are, and then who do they show us they are. This is just what we do in Get Warrior Tough. It's our internal identity. Are you congruent? Now, I'm just going to add, I'm just asking that question, and now I'm going to read their mission statement. My line's mission statement right off the website. Let me get it. Did you hear that? that was, I, was, I always wanted to do that, right? And my fingers have never been nicotine stained. I'm just saying. All right. So at my land, at my land, we are committed to setting new standards in healthcare, working together around the world to provide seven billion people access to high quality medicine. Dutch, if you jack the price of something 
the only piece of quality medicine that they have is that EpiPen. It is a mm -hmm. life-saving thing that people have to have. Like my wife said, it's not like different levels of treatment for like, you know, different kinds of cancer or whatever. You have to have it. It's not something that we could like punt down the road. You have to have it right then or you die. Absolutely. And, and the way they, the way they uh, make the statement. Access. Oh, my goodness. It's so compassionate and just so yes. loving. And we're going to take care of the world's people. And Okay, now here, they, wait, they bullet point this. So wait, hang on. Buckle up. Buckle up. They're going to provide 7 billion people access to high-quality medicine. We innovate to satisfy unmet needs. <laughs> so I guess un meeting unmet needs is just jack the price up 550%. Oh, right, and by the way, right. don't come up with anything new because everything that you sell other than that EpiPen is all stuff that is generic that, you know, the licensing, it's right. It's stuff yeah. that, you know, the licensing ran out on. It's kind of like, you know, singing, uh, you know, a public domain song so you don't have to pay any or using public. That's what we, we use public domain bumpers because we don't have to pay the, you know, royalties on it. That's the same thing. Right. Absolutely. Then we also make reliability and service excellence a habit. We mm. do what's right, not what's easy. Oh, Lord. Could you circle and highlight that? This is their mission statement. We do what's right, not what's easy. And we impact the future through passionate global leadership. Oh, could I have oh. some more passion, please? Uh, could, oh, could you goodness. jack up my EpiPay? I can't even afford the one that was $118. Now, could, could you passionately please pass me the $608 EpiPen? Let me ask you this. Their statements there... Could it have been any more exaggeratory? Could they have gone any further off the cliff than what they did? Yes, and I'm going to read you how much further they went off the cliff. Ugh. But that's their mission. Now, they now right under mission, they have a our values Ugh. section on that same page, our values. You ready? Buckle up, Ed. If, you're, if you don't have a barf bag, grab one. Innovation. We love to challenge the status quo and introduce new and better ways to help people everywhere enjoy a higher quality of life. Mm. <laughs> That's not true. Ugh. <sighs> and you wonder why, they're, uh, why their peers are attacking them. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead Integrity. Yeah. Doing what's right is sacred to us. Not just, no, it's sacred to us. We behave responsibly even when nobody's looking. So let's sit here for a second. So when you make that claim and you do something that flies like terribly inaccurately right in the face of your competition, you don't think they're going to call you on that when you when you say something like that? Like as, as the as why? First off, why would you even say that to set yourself up? You're setting yourself up for failure when you come Absolutely. out publicly and you say, hey, we do what's right. Doing what's right is sacred. Now, listen, I'm a man of excellence who always keeps his word. You don't hear me saying keeping my word is sacred, right? I always keep it, but let's just be honest. I'm not. It's not like sacred. Like if right. I blew it, if I told my kids, you know, uh, we're going to Disney and then I didn't get it there this summer and we had to go next summer, even though I said this summer, I, it's not like a holy thing. You know, I mean, right. I hate it, but it's not sacred that I always do what's right, especially when nobody's looking. And if even though I do that, I'm not putting it out. I mean, I do it, but I don't put that out. You don't have to make claims that bold. Number one, if you don't have the capability to do it, they don't have the capability to be that. And in, no. in the market that they exist in, it would be near impossible to even live up to those standards that you put out there like that. Which, and so, then they said, the very next line is, we set high standards from which we never back down. <laughs> oh, goodness. Like, <laughs> Now we know Stop we know these writing corporations. This. Yeah. They're in it to make money and no one hates them for that. No. Like, look, you're a business, let's be real. I'm here to, to maximize money for my shareholders. And I'm here to solve to a problem, right? Solve a problem. What they're doing is creating they, they're not solving problems with the six hundred and eight dollar EpiPen. It doesn't cost six hundred and eight to manufacture. That price did not go up. It, the manufacturing price the, the reason it went up is so that they could hit that sixteen percent growth target because they couldn't do it any other way. Absolutely. And, and so, again, we're going back to not not laboring on the point that they're making a lot of money. No, I'm you know what? paying a lot of money. We Make are, the we are money, so far pay the that. money. Right. Well, here's the here's what here's my question, Dutch, because I didn't even get through. The, there's more. There's more. I, I right, buckle. I don't even know. It's almost like beating a dead. No, I got to say it. He, he said service is their value. Oh. We understand it's not quote. It's not about us. 
It's about uh, helping others. Mm. We believe there's no situation we can't handle. We would do whatever it takes, work round the clock with an apostrophe, not around the clock, but apostrophe, round the clock, all slangy, right? <laughs> Cross any river, spare no effort, all to meet someone's need. <laughs> but is this a biopharmaceutical company or like the Salvation Army? Goodness gracious. Uh, unbelievable, completely unnecessary, completely unnecessary. If I ever get a multi-billion dollar company, I'm going to stay so far away from that stuff. Look, look, this is America. We're in a land of milk and honey. Capitalism reigns supreme. There's no need to have that to gain any sort of credibility. Credi credibility. There's no need to gain some sort of uh, cachet or some sort of I don't even don't know the know, word. I'm don't like, you know right now when you read this that you're being gamed? I mean, don't you know that that's like, that's not, it goes beyond normal corporate speak even. It's impossible for any, you know, Mother Teresa herself would have a hard time living up to those things. And she's trying every single day during her life she tried to live up to that. And it would be difficult for her to write that down and, 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 and say that. So for a, a corporation... A capitalistic corporation in a capitalistic environment to even write those things. Are they even surprised that they're being attacked, that they're being challenged, that they're being looked at, investigated, however you want to look at it? Are, should they be shocked that that's happening? No, and here's the, and this is why this is why their customers and the market at large and the analysts on Wall Street and the Wall Street Journal and now the rest of America and really the world, right? Because we're because the Wall Street Journal is like three million subscription across the planet, right? So. Uh, they're not congruent. They're saying this is who we are, that we do what's right, even not what's easy, that we, you know, give high quality our access to high quality medicine, that we challenge the status quo. And we're always looking for ways to help people enjoy a high quality life. We always do what's right because it's sacred to us. And we even when nobody's looking, that it's not about us, it's about helping others and that we work round the clock, cross any river. Right. That's who you say you are. And here you show me, because your actions are, we raise the price of our one product, that is the, the, the one that we actually invented, the only one we invented, 550%. And then we paid our executives more than the executives at Johnson & Johnson and Pfizer and Bristol Myers Squibb and Eli Lilly. Now, if I'm one of those CEOs, I'm mad. I'm trying to get a job oh, with my I man. Uh, you know, the, the thing is, is that we, we as another CEO, I'm trying to challenge myself to live up to the mission, to be to be honest and, and do all the things the, the right way as much as possible, because we know they're not all angels. Right. Right. But 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 they're holding themselves to what they say at the at the at the very least, they're trying to hold themselves to what they say. But when you have peers that can write this stuff and not only not live up to it, but they fly in the face of it like disrespectfully every day, I'm getting upset. Say, hold on, man. I can't say those things and not even try. You can't say those things and not even try. They are in so there is so much nonsense. I want to know who wrote it. I want to know who came up with it. That person needs some sort of an, an award. Yeah. Uh, and because if you a go down line award. by line, Andrew, you go down line by line. The the one thing you know, raising the price by what five hundred fifty percent alone. Yep destroys each one of those line by line. Right, and then on the back side, we take that money that we got from everybody that had to get the EpiPen, and then we funnel it straight to our you know, top five executives, to the straight two or three hundred leadership. Million. Straight to, not to the community, not to anything other than straight to the leadership. You know and, what they, and, it, it, and the, why, would you, and why wouldn't you put it back in, right, because you're saying you do stuff for the community, you should put it back to helping others and giving them access to, or put it into R&D and develop a, a better, because you, you develop a better product. Or oh, another goodness. product. Uh, solve another problem. Stop creating problems. And you know what? And I'm beating up on my land right now, um, and, and we're not done with them yet. But I will throw this out there. This is not like just them. This is a pandemic across the country. Organizations throw these mission and value statements up, and they it's not who they are, and then they get in trouble. Or they write them, they write them a long time ago, and yeah. then they slowly drift away from them until they look nothing like that. And we're going to talk about that again after the next break. I have a couple of things I want to mention with respect to that. Right. Okay. So we're up on the break. We'll take the break. I want to come back. We'll finish with Mylan, and then we'll talk about that other company that is nearly the same size, a little bit bigger than them, but got paid twice as much and nobody even cares. In fact, they're happy with that company. You listen to the Get Warrior Tough radio show with Dutch and Andrew. We'll be right back. 